case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1995, the Supreme Court of the United States ruled in the case of Commissioner V. Schleyer. The case revolved around the issue of whether damages received for personal injuries or sickness should be excluded from gross income, while damages for other types of harm, such as employment discrimination, are generally taxable unless a specific provision in the tax code provides for exclusion. The case involved former United Airlines employee Eric Schleyer, who filed a lawsuit alleging he had been unlawfully terminated due to age discrimination in violation of the Age Discrimination in Employment Act, ADA. Schleyer received a settlement from United Airlines, which included back pay and liquidated damages under the ADA. He argued that this settlement was not taxable. The idea prohibits age discrimination in the workplace and provides legal and equitable relief for victims, such as judgments compelling employment, reinstatement or promotion, as well as recovery of lost wages and potential liquidated damages. However, the Supreme Court ruled that the settlement was indeed taxable under the Internal Revenue Code. The court determined that Schleyer's settlement did not meet the requirements for exclusion under Section 104, A. 2, because the recovery under the ADA was not based on tort rights and the damages were not due to personal injury or sickness. Consequently, the court reversed the judgment. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 